Hello guys, I hope you are all doing well. In this video, we are going to learn about how we can return a structure from a function. So let's begin. Let's take an example in which our program is storing the information of 50 students. We need to require to make a function in which when somebody send it a roll number then based on their roll number the student information should be shown okay for example let's say there are 50 students so s0 will be holding some values then s1 then s2 and so on okay let's say the roll number for s0 is 1 and for 1 it is 2 and then 3 okay this is roll number right now we need to create a function such that if i send in the function the roll number let's say i send it a roll number then it should give me the information all the information of that particular student now what are the information roll number gender and average marks right so each student is holding the information as roll number gender and average marks then later on we need to make a function in which somebody will send us the roll number and based on their roll number we will be fetching its other information that is gender and average marks okay now in the function prototype in the written type we will write the data type of structure basically struct students okay so i'll write here struct students okay this will be our return type for our function okay return type now after that we will write okay what is the name of our function so we will write here let's say get data okay and then what it should accept it should accept a value of type integer right so this will be our function prototype now I will make here some variable let's say first of all a variable for holding roll number so I am writing here only roll and then an additional structure variable struct students and then let's say temp okay now after that here I am assuming that all the code for storing the information has been written already okay if you don't know about how to write it i had described it in the previous video how we can take the input of the information right after that i will be storing the value of role okay to ask the user okay what role number you want to search so we can write here printf enter role number to search right now here i'll write scanf then simply person d and end of role okay now what i will do this temporary variable i will assign it with the get data and then i will send it the value of role okay now before i move further let's close it for now and let's try to make the definition of our function okay which is struct students and i'll write here get data and let's say the name of our variable is r okay now what i need to do i need to find out that any roll number of the student should equal to r or not okay so i can draw something like that for better understanding let's say this is s0 then s1 then s2 okay and each is having its roll number gender and av marks right this also this also and s49 up to s49 okay all are having the data right now to access roll number for first student i have to write s0 dot roll number okay we had talked about this in previous videos also right so i will use here a loop for int i equal to 0 i less than 49 and i plus plus okay and i'll write here if r is equal equal s i dot roll number then return what s i okay that's all so what is happening here let's say i send the roll number as 22 
okay so first of all it will check the value with the s0 dot roll number for example the roll number for first student let's assume is 1 then 2 then 3 okay and so on so it will be match on it will be the 22 will be equal to s 21 dot roll okay so it will be matched with the this value roll number right so this is what is happening here roll number of each student is checked with the value of r okay and as soon as this roll number will be equal that particular array location or array variable will be sent back from where it is called right now let's say roll number of 22nd student which will be s of 21 1 index less dot roll number is equal equal to our r okay whatever is sent to this function okay so it is sending s of i so it will send s of 21 okay now as soon as it will be written this could become something like temp equals to s of 21 right now all the data holded by s21 will be assigned to the temp variable okay so both will be now having the same data right so i'll write here printf gender percent c and i'll write here temp dot gender right because both are having the same data now s21 and temp are holding the same kind of data okay same, same value of data or information okay so we got the gender and then i can write here printf then av marks percent f and then i can write here temp dot av marks right and that will be all okay so here it will search for the value and now here it is returning as the structure variable okay now this is for the array of structure you can also return the normal variables for example here instead of returning let's say these s50 is not present then you can write a simple variable let's say s1 is there s2 is there then you can also return the structure variable as s1 okay so there is no problem in that okay i had told you according to the array of structure because this is what mostly used okay so remember that this is how we are using it now one thing in this program that you can ask that let's say the roll number is too high okay someone deliberately send the very high roll number that actually does not exist okay so what should happen in that case now you can write any condition here that if roll greater than or equals to one and and roll smaller than or equals to 49 okay when this condition will be satisfied only then do this right else you can write printf and then write invalid roll number right and that will be all okay so you can go with any condition you can make condition here also but it is up to you how you are go making your program and what logic you want to follow okay but the main thing here is that we return structure variable with this method okay in the return type we write our struct and then the name of our structure and here we return the structure variable okay it is similar to returning an integer value and float values just we saw in the previous videos of function right so both are current nearly the same but here remember that our return type is struct student okay now one more thing is that let's say that i have i had made another structure of name let's say teachers okay so a uh, struct students will not be able to return the variable of type struct teachers okay because both will be mismatch right so keep in mind that okay so this is how we return structure variable okay so I, I hope you get the idea for this okay so that's all for today guys i hope you like the video if you have any doubt please comment it down thanks for watching and i have to see you in the next video